Hi there, welcome to Be A Surface Pro. Today's Surface Pro tip is how to convert your handwriting to text in 2019. Did you know that you can convert your handwriting to typed text? I've actually been doing this on Microsoft Windows since Windows XP, converting handwriting to typed text. It's been a part of the Windows operating system for that long. But now in 2019, the handwriting recognition engine of Windows 10 has had a significant update. So if you've got a Surface Pro with a pen, you wanna take that pen out and click on the keyboard icon on your taskbar with your pen to launch the handwriting recognition panel. This handwriting recognition tool will work in any application, but we'll use Word as an example to type into. As I handwrite along the line, you'll notice that it's converting my handwriting to typed text and typing it directly into my document where my cursor was. As you're writing in this panel, it's inevitably going to make a mistake in reading your handwriting. If it makes a mistake, I suggest that you keep on writing and just finish off your sentence. Once you're done, use your fingertip to scroll back across the panel to find the word that was wrong. Tap on it with your fingertip so that it becomes the selected word. It's highlighted in white. And you'll notice that across the top, it shows you different suggestions for what this word might have been. If you click on one of those suggestions, it will change what's typed in your document and Windows will automatically learn your handwriting style based on that correction that you've made. So once you've made four or five of these corrections, you'll find that Windows is getting a pretty good idea of your specific handwriting style. If you want to shortcut the process of Windows learning your handwriting, we've got another video that shows you how you can teach the recognizer your specific handwriting style. There are a couple of other ways to make corrections of words. The first is if you do see something that's wrong, you can just write over the top of the first letter that's wrong with the correct letter. And you'll notice that the whole word might change based on that correction that you've made. If you need to divide two words apart, just draw an up arrow underneath the words to split them and add a space. And if you wanna add a little bit more room for writing, you can also do that up arrow in between two words and Windows will push the two words apart, give you some space to write an extra word in there. If you wanna join two words together, just draw a semicircle underneath the two words and they'll join back together again. With your Surface Pro pen, the back of the pen is an eraser. So if you just wanna get rid of one letter at a time, Turn the pen around and just tap the individual letter that you want to delete. And if you want to delete an entire word at once, draw a horizontal line through the word to delete it. Now this handwriting tool is a fantastic method of inputting data when you're not in a place that suits a keyboard very well. For example, I see a lot of people with their Surface Pro trying to balance the keyboard and the kickstand out in all sorts of funny ways and trying to type. Um, in those situations, you're better off just to get rid of the keyboard, fold it underneath your surface, maybe sit it on your lap like that, and use the pen to handwrite and input data. We don't use this method of input for doing things like taking notes. A tool like Microsoft OneNote is far better suited to that because with note taking, you don't want to be interrupted by that whole correction and input process. You just want to take your notes but the beauty is OneNote uses that handwriting recognition engine to convert all your notes to type text in the background anyway. But we use this handwriting tool on the screen, this virtual keyboard, to do things like sending a few emails, adding a little bit of information to a Word document, or inputting data into a database, or doing searches and web browsing. Over on the right side of the panel, the handwriting input panel, we have a three dot menu that you can click on to see left and right cursor arrows to move your cursor around in the program. You'll see access to your emoji panel. You can't use this handwriting tool to do things like emojis or symbols. You'll need to use the numbers and symbols library here or the emoji panel to type in symbols directly. And you'll also find the space and the enter keys in here. I'm using handwriting recognition for English Australian right now and it is available in our localized English version. But you'll also find that handwriting recognition is available in an ever expanding number of languages. And you can visit the Microsoft website to see if your specific language is supported for handwriting recognition. So even though we're not gonna use this tool to take notes, you're still better off using it and getting to know how it works 
so that you'll get better results with your handwriting recognition in OneNote as well. If you found this tip helpful, remember to give us the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Surface Pro tips. I'm rambling again. Uh, that was just a little blooper shot that I just threw in there for you. No worries.